Welcome to Classic Farming with Classic Machinery. We're at Claypit Farm in central Norfolk, which is farmed by Tony and Christine Saunders and their son Thomas. All of the work on the 300-acre mixed farm is carried out using a 14-strong fleet of classics. John Deere is the favoured brand, and they're also joined by a couple of David Browns. Yeah, welcome to Claypit Farm, Necton. We're in mid-Norfolk. Um, we farm about 300 acres of land. Yeah, we grow sugar beet for uh, British sugar and um, quite a bit of winter barley for the cattle, spring barley for the cattle uh, and oats, which are for cattle as well. Everything we grow, we put through the cattle and feed. All the straw we grow as well, we use for the cattle for litter and feeding. Uh, we run a 300 head beef fattening unit here. We also have a small egg production unit, which we run alongside. Father uh, bought, originally bought a Fordson E27 in, power of an engine one in uh, 1948. He bought that new. Um, we had that up till 1961 when we purchased a brand new 990, uh, which was a bad old tractor, and had that a few years. And then 1968, we bought a Day Brown 1200. Um, had a few problems with that. Uh, so in the end, we decided to have a John Deere, have a different make. So we bought that 2130, which is here, and uh, we bought that new in 1974. She's been on the farm ever since, ploughed the whole farm for, I don't know, 10 or 15 years, and uh, really hadn't had any problems with it at all, really. Uh, it's had a new clutch in it, but that's about it. But it's done a lot of work, it's done over 10,000 hours now. Um, and then after that, uh, 1981, we bought the 2040. And then after that, 1982, we bought the 3140. Bought, bought both those new. Uh, then the 1140 came along, that had done some hours. That was second hand when we bought that, it had done about 1100 hours. And then um, the 6400 came along then, and we bought that new in 1993. And then the 6420, we bought that in 2007. In the meantime, the teleporter was bought in 2001. Bought that second hand. Uh, that done a couple of thousand hours when we bought it. But the star of the show, of course, is the old digger. Whitlock 308. We bought her second hand in 1976. Uh, that had been with a builder in Scotland, so they told us. The 990, uh, that was bought second hand. Uh, we bought that um, in about 1960. That was 69, I think, that one was bought. We still got that. The 880, that was bought second hand. Uh, that had done 600 hours when we bought that. And uh, we bought that in about 1972, as a 1970 model. But that has done an awful lot of hours. So we get asked the question, why do we keep all these old machines running? <laughs> um, and the simple fact is, it's running costs. Um, we do 99% of all maintenance and repairs ourselves. And even if you take the oldest John Deere along there, the 2130, what that tractor costs us in terms of repairs and maintenance in a year, maybe two years, would be less than one month's repayment on a new tractor. And that can be said for pretty much every tractor along there, even the David Browns. As well as doing all the maintenance in our workshop here ourselves, we also like to do a lot of fabrication, modification to the existing machinery we've got. Um, if we find it sort of falls short of our expectations and we can see room for improvement, we go ahead and do it, um, even to the point of making new machines from the ground up. Uh, as well as the members of the family, myself and father and my mum, um, we have four employees on the farm, two full-time and two part-time, but uh, it's the two chaps who are mostly involved with machinery and field work, Stuart and Matthew. And we've got a farm shop which we've had for about 35 years, uh, which we sell eggs through and bits and pieces. And we've also got a campsite, which we opened up about seven or eight years ago. We also offer out uh, a bit of outsourcing on engineering work, a bit of workshop space to help out local farmers and businesses. Despite many sought after classics amongst the fleet, all of the tractors have their part to play and are worked hard when necessary to get the job done, as we will see as we follow the farm for a year.